Hi, this is Shadi and today we're talking about another lost art in judo and that is wrist locking. Now, recently I covered the leg locks uh, extensively in several videos but recently I talked about the uh, leg locks that are not uh, used so much so anymore in other competitions where they allow them or um, just people that just don't know about them either due to lack of efficiency or they just don't know about them and in this video I'm gonna talk about wrist locking and specific self-defense technique uh, we all know that Goshinjutsu has some uh, Aikido wrist locking but I'm gonna talk about uh, specific wrist locks that are that might be considered a bit nasty um, I'm gonna use two references the first one being the Ren Koho Waza or the uh, arresting technique I'll link it in the description below and also I will be using uh, Mikunsuke Kaweshi's My Method of Self-Defense and because I love my audience I will link the full PDF book in the description for you to check it out it is uh, packed with uh, self-defense techniques obviously I cannot cover all of them so here the first one we start with the uh, Renko Hawaza um, this is the wrist lock we saw uh, Kyuzo Mifune performing uh, it is very basic but nonetheless very effective you just press the wrist against uh, the el as if you are pushing it against the elbow um, here you see you can do it uh, the wrist is up or wrist down or palm up palm down um, let's see Mifune do it again here in this demonstration he does it um, you can get it from almost anywhere you just press on the tricep and bring the wrist closer to you using the uh, palm of the hand or back of the hand uh, in order to create the uh, wrist lock or the breaking mechanism now uh, the second one is here we switch into more of self-defense rather than kata we see straight front uh, attacks in Mikunsuke Kawashi's book uh, where you strip uh, you turn around you strip uh, the hand that's trying to choke you or grab you and then you turn the wrist outwards kind of like a kotegeshi or the uh, aikido's wrist lock where you disarm the knife or the uh, gun. So these are all the jujitsu wrist locks found in many of Koryu's and many self-defense demonstrations. Here, uh, someone is trying to, an another front attack where someone is trying to push or trying to lay their hand on you. And this is where you can press the wrist, very similar mechanics to the uh, techniques found in the Renkoho Waza. Um, the other one here you see is you can twist the neck and use it in order to take them down. Uh, here you see Keenan Cornelius performing the uh, wrist lock. Uh, so a lot of these wrist locks can also be found in BJJ except for finger snapping, finger snapping which we will get to later. So here Keenan doing pushing the tricep against uh, the forearm and exerting breaking mechanism. So stuff that actually works in competition you can get these uh, wrist locks from side control from mount even from guard so uh, nonetheless they have their uh, utility but uh, not in judo only in kata so uh, there's also self-defense uh, lessons in the book i urge you to go in the description and download it here for example a, a double nelson you go down you go around and then finish with sukuinage so there are pretty good stuff with uh, traditional judo throws here you can see there is a snapping of the thumb uh, found in the old uh, kawaishi book uh, very like i said nasty stuff not authorized even in bjj competitions uh, but nonetheless they exist they are a part of the self-defense uh, repertoire and also the old jiu-jitsu uh, schools here you see you grabbing the wrist you are uh, isolating the thumb and then breaking it here you see you are uh, separating the fingers and also pressing down with your thumb on the wrist in order to create a uh, breaking mechanism and also snap the fingers as well so uh, it is uh, both the fingers and the wrist that can be get injured from this specific technique like i said uh, stuff that are not allowed in competition till this day here you see the uh the cupping of the tricep and grabbing the fingers rather than the uh back of the hand and then getting it closer in order to break the wrist and also uh like breaking the fingers the other one here on the left it's uh, the traditional uh, sankyo found in aikido again from all jujitsu but nonetheless 
still effective it can put a man on his toes when you are turning off the wrist here you see a demonstration of the new york aikikai uh, mike, uh, mike jones i believe his name here you see he grabs the uh, palm inside of the palm of the hand and turns towards uke in order to twist the wrist and which will make uke move alongside on the tip of their toes uh, very effective and it's really useful when it comes to self-defense if you can get it and you have practiced it enough another thing that i want to discuss uh, is the atemiwaza now the atemiwaza of judo are particularly unique i did a video covering them um, extensively but uh, they are kind of like try to hit a little bit of vital points and uh, not so much so uh, sportsmanship like strikes like to the groin knees to the groin a uh, ball of the foot to the groin uh, striking between the eyes the temples all that stuff are also covered in Mikunsuke Kawaishi's book uh, like I said I urge you to go and download it here the Yuto between the eyes so stuff that are like considered uh, sensitive and easy to access not like just eye gouges or uh, uh, like a thumb to the throat stuff that you know not will not probably work in most of the time but stuff that you can easily strike I can easily uh, go a jab between the eyes or you know hammer fist the temple it's gonna be a bit easy here you see strikes alongside uh, the uh, nagewaza of judo so um, I talked about uh, the striking alongside the uh, throwing in my yesterday's video Hideichi Nagaoka where he was striking and then throwing his students for uh, Ukigoshi, Seonage, Harai Goshi etc so here you see that they can coexist somewhat together as a complement to judo's nagewaza but the essential thing in judo is the nagewaza and the kumikata because it all starts from there either if i want to go to newaza i have to have good nagewaza or um, if i have to uh, like get into my nagewaza which is the sole purpose i can faint with a strike or strike somewhat in a way that damages uke or flinches makes them flinch and then uh, finish with a nagewaza or strike with a uh, throw and then finish with a strike so uh, it can go either way but the uh, sole purpose is the nagewaza nagewaza is the uh, core of judo and everything else revolves around it that's in my opinion the best way for self-defense is to really control your opponent while standing and then finish everything with either striking or nagewaza so this is a very uh, long and uh, extensive topic, whether it is just joint locks, uh, striking sensitive spots, uh, self-defense in general. Self-defense has become like a big joke nowadays. Uh, a lot of disciplines, we just people like to laugh and mock them. Uh, they don't work or you'll get killed if you try to do this, etc. But uh, I think uh, with enough practice, uh, relentless making self-defense part of your weekly uh, curriculum at just at least once a week where you practice these wrist locks these uh, general scenarios that are found in all jiu-jitsu that has survived in books in demonstrations uh, I think they can easily be uh, made functional uh, it's not just to look at a video and then try to go apply it on a serious aggressor that's not how it works just like a throw just like an armbar etc it's not gonna work from the first time you have to make it work you have to find your way around it and just make it work i believe self-defense is the same self-defense should be in all courses not just you know gracie combatives uh, valente brothers but also uh, judo it's become so much so about sport that uh, people are just uh, forgetting all these ancient techniques that are part of the this huge curriculum of wrist locks leg locks um, you know weapons so on and so forth now if you have anything else to add please share it down below also uh, consider supporting me on patreon i have a few videos up now i think three or four just for the patrons only you will find the link in the description below um, and like i said if you have anything else to add let me know down below this was shady and Thank you for always listening.